Hi guys, welcome to the show. It's Behind the Fame and I'm your host, Gilda Naipe. And thank you so much for joining us today. We have a special, special guest. You guys definitely know her if you have been on social media. You know her as the TikTok creator who cooks every day for her husband. And some of you are mad. Some of you want her to be your wife. Some of you want to send your wives to come and learn a few things from Miss Sue Owino. Her name is not Sue, I got that wrong. I'm sure a lot of people yeah, 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 yeah. have been getting it wrong. Her name is Sue. Today we're here with her at her place and she's going to cook for her husband, not for us, for her <laughs> husband. But yes, welcome. Let's, let's go see what we're up to today. So how do you feel about having this new fame in your life? Um, how old I put it? <laughs> it's okay. In the beginning, it wasn't that easy, but with time, I just came and kinky yeah. atundani Yeah, yeah. And I think most people what was shocked because you said you cook for your husband every day. Yeah. And I'm wondering why do you think that shocked so many people? Uh, I think personally. Uh, many people think like from actually from what I'd seen yesterday. Mm. <laughs> Let me just give an answer from what I'd seen yesterday. Yeah. Many people are like you shouldn't cook. You sh these are things that you shouldn't do. If you're a wife, maybe uh, you're supposed to have a house help some other to yeah. help you do your things. You're not supposed to be in the house cooking. Yeah, you're not supposed to be a housewife. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think it's just all on social media clouds like people saying? They don't do what you do, you do, but secretly they do. Or what's what do you think is the problem? What I think is social media will mislead a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people will be there telling you how um, you're not supposed to be doing that, you're not supposed to be doing that, but in reality they're doing that yeah. themselves. Yeah. So you just go and do what you think you're supposed to be doing. To me, I'll do what I think I'm supposed to be doing to my husband because I'm a Christian woman, and uh, as a Christian woman, I believe uh, I'm supposed to submit to my husband. Okay. And uh, submission is not slavery. Yeah. Submission is not slavery. What is submission in your eyes? I think um, I've been I've been uh, I've been is it instructed or commanded by God that uh, it's it's in the Bible actually. Mm -hmm. The wife shall submit to the husband and. The, um, husband should love the wife so to me submission is respect you doing these things that you're supposed to be doing every day yeah you do what you're supposed to be doing <laughs> yeah 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 and um did you always this love for cooking mm -hmm. did it come after you got married or before you were married did were you cooking i was cooking but not as often yeah yeah i was cooking but not as often and what about when you were dating? Before you got married, were you cooking then? Not as much. Yeah. Not as much. So this is something that happened after marriage. Yeah, because I was living by myself, so I wasn't. It's it's so hard to cook for yourself. True. Yeah. So when we started uh, living together, it became so easy to do mm. it. Yeah. And. Uh, how many kgs is your husband? I just want to ask because someone who is eating this good every day. He's around. Um, I'm not quite sure. Let's see. He hasn't gotten to 70 kgs. Oh wow! Around um, roughly 65 to 66. Then. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. Because he eats so well, you would, <laughs> you would expect he's he's blown up by now. But you say he still does he work out? Do you guys work out together or? We d we don't work out. You know, people don't understand, and I don't I don't want them to understand. You eat what you want to eat. You know, so. The reason why we eat meat every day, it's not to make us become fat or, yeah, it's just to make us become, we eat meat to stay in the same, whatever, yeah. how do I put it, I don't know that right, mm -hmm. to stay in the same size. Because I'll eat a large portion of meat, I'll eat a small portion of ugali or carbohydrate oh, yeah. and a lot of grains. A balanced diet. Yeah, so that's, I think that's the right portion. Yeah, so what's on the menu today? Uh, we're having biryani. Yeah. Yeah, so chicken biryani. Uh -huh. uh, I've started putting the this chicken and then I've put salt and then um, paprika and then this is danajera. Mm. So I'll just put the spices and then after that we get into cooking. This is the marination process. So 
it's 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 usually supposed to be marinated for around two hours, but we don't have that time. Yeah. So I'll just do the easy. Way. <laughs> yeah. So what five spices would you tell people they need to have in their cabinet to cook as good as you? I'll not really. I'm honestly speaking, I'm not very good uh, with advisors. So me, I'll just say what I usually use. Yeah. So. I'll use a paprika, garam masala. This is a mixture of black pepper and white pepper. Yeah. Um, turmeric and uh, and dry cubes only. Mm. Yeah. And actually no, and curry powder. Yeah. So, uh, remove this one. Curry powder and dry cubes. Yeah. So let's just say people want to know: is this is this something that that your your husband like required you to do? And said like, if we're going to get married, you're going to have to cook for me every day. <laughs> people, people want to know you're not being held against me. That's so funny. <laughs> is it something that was like you guys talked about before you got married, or was it? Honestly, that's the first time I'm hearing that. Because yeah. you know, people can't believe it to the point they're thinking maybe you're being held against your will. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. It's not. It's not something my husband required. It's something God wants me to do. Honestly, like it's it's written in the Bible. It's true. Submit. Is it a family value? Like you saw your mom doing the yes. same thing. Yes. 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 And I think so. Maybe that's where we need to turn back to God and the Bible <laughs> and and go back to your your definition of submission. Yeah. And I think that's why do you have you have a lot of Kenyan men supporting you. Yeah. Right. Like what yesterday, kind of I saw. Mm -hmm. they say? Um, I saw a man yesterday saying that he would want a housewife and uh, he will want a housewife, not a woman with uh, mm. and a lot of women came for him. Yeah. <laughs> I felt so bad for him but that's oh, you know you know that's what he wants. It's true. So you're not going to go and put it uh, to him like no, you don't know what you want. This is what you want. Yeah. You know that's what you want. You know, for you, Gilda, you'll say, "Me, I want this kind of man," hmm. and this man will say, "No, me, Gilda, me, I don't want you." Yeah. Yeah. It's just who, who you just uh, you attract who you want. Yeah. Don't force force it on the people. Yes. Just just like how there's some women who will say they can't cook every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this man who told you that he wouldn't like a woman with like the No, it was on the it. comment section. Oh, on the comment it's, section. It's actually there up to yeah. now. I, oh, probably he has deleted or it's there. I don't because know. he got too much. It had, yeah, it had a lot of replies, like over a hundred, a hundred or three hundred. They're about, I don't know. So maybe the women took offense because they said, what does nails have to do with cooking? But what do you think him he was, he was trying to explain? That's what he wants. Like he wants somebody mwenye ako ameka hataki hana maneno mingi. Yeah. Ameka yeye anataka tu kuja kwa nyumba kupikiwa hataki makucha. But I, I I think people can just work with nails. But um, me personally, I think itani itani limit kufanya a lot of things because nitaeka sahi na nitafua nitapika nitaosha vyombo zitaribika. Eh. And that is a lot of money. Three thousand is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And before you were married, why did you did you have to change your lifestyle? Like after, did you have the nails? Did you have the makeup? Did you have? Did, did you have not to change? really a lot. Not really a lot because I think I'm not that of a uh, that person. Like a showgirl. No, no, of, I'm yeah. not. I will do nails once in a while. Not all the time. I I I, I will put on makeup, but I don't like. I think it's a lot of work and. I can't take time doing eyebrows and then I think about chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense like that, yeah. 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 But if I get, uh, when I'm probably I'm going somewhere and I have, I really have to uh, do my makeup, I'll get someone and do it for me. Yeah. But I didn't have, it wasn't like a big shift. Yeah, it wasn't a big shift. Okay, so um, what is your husband's, like, his favorite meal? Like, what, what does he love for you to cook for him? Fries. Chipo. Yeah, anything fries, garlic fries, masala fries. Um, what's that other fries? I don't know the name. Yeah, <laughs> I've forgotten the name. Okay. And you, what's your favorite meal? I don't really have a favorite meal. I'm I'm very picky with food, Kwanza. I don't like eating. Yeah, so I don't. You really don't like eating, I but don't you like enjoy eating. cooking. Yeah, I don't like eating. Oh wow! I don't like eating. I can sit the whole day without food. I just drink water and I'm okay. Yeah. Nana is a pika even and she been a roof and I'm like I don't. That's true. By the way, you get full from just smelling. Food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I get that also. So maybe you can run us through like how your day goes from when you wake up to evening. 
so I wake up. If my husband is going to work, that is uh, an, uh, a busy day, of course. So it will depend from the time I wake up to around uh, 10 minutes. That's around 8.30 to 9. So waking up, I, I pre-iron his clothes, so that's not an issue. Make his uh, breakfast, and then... What's for breakfast? It depends. It depends with what uh, I had. Because I usually write meal plans, my weekly meal plans, the ones that I usually sell, yes. uh, now today in the evening. So by the time uh, Monday in Africa, I have all meals prepared. Mm. So I know uh, on Monday I'll be prepare, preparing this and this and this. So just like that. So you share it with him like a menu? Like so he knows what he's eating every day as he comes home? He has all the meal plans. He has, so after I'm done, he because that's what you're eating and that's what I'll be selling to people, he has to see. Uh, he has to send it to my manager, Angalia, like, uh, oh, th now this is what you've made. Uta to True, you have yeah. to be able to cook yeah. okay. And also to be able to get ingredients. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before yeah. you cook them. Yeah, in. also that. So I make his breakfast and then if I'll be shooting a video of that, I'll shoot. If not, I just make his breakfast, give it to him, and then he leaves. And then from there, I get lazy kidogo. I may go back to sleep yeah. or do kama. It wasn't that busy. I just wash utensils and then I go to my dark farm after that. What else? I come back. Since I'm alone in the house, I don't cook lunch. If uh, my other family people are here, I'll cook for them. If I'm not, they'll cook. Just like that. And then, Johnny Kifika, I go and look at my ducks again. And then, I come back, wait for my husband to come as I prepare dinner. If Apple Katikati, I shoot uh, content here and here, here and there, yeah. And uh, what else? I think that's it. Yeah. I don't really have a very, very busy 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 schedule i reply to messages yeah when mm -hmm. you started posting on tiktok mm -hmm. and saying i cook for my husband did you know that you were about to go viral because people were sharing your videos all over twitter especially twitter went crazy you almost you were trending that day and i remember even my mom sent me a message she was like wow look at this girl you need to be like her get a husband <laughs> and be cooking for him every day so i wanted to know did you know that you were gonna go viral no I didn't know. Like this was just a normal... It was just something normal. I was doing yeah. like every day. So you didn't understand what was happening? Um, <laughs> the first thing I saw, yeah. uh, my manager sent me... Um, he has been managing other things. So it was so easy for him to just like come in yeah. or to manage social media. So he sent me the post Tuko, Tuko posted. I was like, you're on Tuko? Like, uh, how? <laughs> how? Why? And then he, sh he now, then there were the screenshots of the videos. I was like, what did, what okay. did they say on Tuko? Um, they just, uh, they just said there's this lady, uh, I really don't remember the words. Yeah. I, really, I don't remember. And then the comments that people were there, the, the comments that were there. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, what I think it boils down to, right? Mm -hmm. So you're a city girl who lives in the city. I don't mean a city girl, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but you're a city girl who lives, you live in the city, mm -hmm. but then these are very traditional things that they think happen in, in the country or in mm -hmm. Shanks. Mm -hmm. Don't, just, do you see the correlation? Yeah. Maybe that's where people went crazy. So why do you think so many women took offense? Mm. Is it because their husbands? I, 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 I really don't know. I, up to today, I keep on asking myself, why, why are you offended? Yeah. Because it's me who is cooking for my husband. You can also do the same, but I really don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. But out of this has actually grown a business, right? Yeah. So maybe you can tell us a bit about that. Um... I didn't, I didn't think I'll start selling meal plans. <laughs> I didn't think so. I was like, this smells. I can't just keep on posting videos. What am I gaining from them? So I sat with my manager and my husband and then we're like, okay, now what, what do we do? Then my manager, my manager comes up with very, very good ideas. I credit him, him for that mm -hmm. a lot. So he said, uh, you can do this. Uh, you usually make just a uh, meal plan for your a meal tin table. I think that's what we used to call them yeah. for your for your house. Then why why don't you just like uh, create for selling? But like uh, I don't really think if people will buy that. Yeah. And then one day we went on live and asked people, "Would you want me to sell you meal plans?" And they were like, "Yeah, we would." 
so the first day it wasn't like that good but every day on every video we put uh, the caption down below uh, if you want a weekly meal plan just click the link on my profile and then it will take you to my whatsapp mm -hmm. and then from there people just started purchasing so there is that weekly meal plan it has 21 recipes and 21 meals meals for breakfast lunch and dinner and they're different meals and also if you want a customized one we can i can do that for you mm -hmm. so you just come tell me so this is what i want this is what my family eats this is what we don't eat please don't put this and all that yeah and then we customize it for you and that's it so you've now turned this into a business mm -hmm. but you started as a housewife so does your husband support you with your business because it went from you just doing your housewife duties to now being a businesswoman. But I was a businesswoman before. Okay, people don't know that, right? Yeah, people don't know that. So my farm, I, we have another farm. Yeah. So that was, so this other farm is a baby of the other one. Ah. Yeah. Wow. So he has been supporting me in the other dark business. So that one I don't really want to show it because I'm like, this one, this one, this one has been here. So I wanted to show this one so that in UK, mm -hmm. so that people know that I have uh, ducks and all this through mm -hmm. my TikTok. And TikTok ha has helped me a lot with the meal plan and also with the duck business. We have uh, different breeds of ducks. We have the Muscovy duck, the Peking duck, the Rouen duck, the Kaki Campbell duck. And <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> the Kaki Campbell duck. And now we have geese. Yeah. yeah. And I'm waiting for my first batch of ducklings to hatch i think in uh, a week or so mm. i'll be so happy i'll be a proud mother yeah. <laughs> of so many ducklings yeah yeah and we sell the ducks and the duck egg so speaking of proud mother one day because you're a christian woman i know you want to be a mother right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what will happen will you still cook every day so i think husband? i think that uh i'll cook but now you know you can't you can't say it he I'll cook and the time hasn't come. You don't know how that time it mm. during the pregnancy, even after pregnancy, you don't know even how that moment will be. So I can't really say I'll try my level best, but I can't really say I'm going to cook, I know I'll, I'll cook, you know. Yeah. yeah. I just seeing how it goes. Yeah. So maybe last but not least, what do you say to your your fans and your haters? I do I really have haters? <laughs> I mean, you know, people will hate you for the smallest reasons. So I'm sure you've gotten feedback from people who you don't understand, like where the hate is coming from. So maybe just a word that you can tell them. Like uh, I said before, I really don't look at the negative side because I don't want to deal with that a lot. So I'll just, I'll just look at them all as my fans. Yeah. So I just love them and. What else will I tell them? I love them and they keep on supporting me. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can tell people um, about your other, your, other, your other business or where they can reach you. Yeah. So uh, I'm Sue Owino on TikTok, um, on Instagram and on YouTube it's Owino Sue. You can find me on all those social media platforms. On all of them, on TikTok and Instagram, there is a WhatsApp link on my profile. You can get that number there and then you can contact me at any time. So I do sell meal plans. All the meals that I cook, even zingine zenye sijai pika, ziko kwa meal plan. Yeah, zenye hamjai ona kwa the pages, ziko kwa meal plan. And also, um, I do sell uh, yuden utensils. Izi zenye minyona nikitumia. There's this one, there's this one. You've seen them uh, on, your, uh, on, on my page. I've just started the business recently. And then there is my duck farm. I do have a duck farm. I have, uh, I sell duck eggs and duck. Kwa unataka ya ku layer and all that yeah. we do sell that so if you want to reach me out just through my social media pages but mostly angalia the whatsapp link on my instagram and tiktok and from there you can contact me at any time yeah, yeah. so you guys that is it for the interview with sue if you have questions please ask them in the comment section and please guys know sue has told us the way to a man's heart is through what his stomach so <laughs> Do the necessary, let the necessary occur. <laughs> Next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>